State College, where Illinois and Penn State begin their Big Ten quest on Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines. Tonight, two top contenders for the Big Ten title meet. The undefeated number 12 Penn State Nittany Lions host the number two Illinois Fighting Alana. The madness continues in college football. Six of the top 25 have already gone down to defeat, including number one USC on Thursday night. It is that kind of a weekend, or as Yogi Berra might have said, deja vu all over again as we remember the madness for sure, folks. Penn State fans, well, they've been flipping about this year's team. Some have said untested. How about the fact they blew away Oregon State here? And remember what the Beavers did on Thursday night to top rank USC. This has been the Nissan pregame shift. Kickoff for number 22 Illinois and number 12 Penn State. It's coming up next. Goal. The juice is always capable of keeping it, but he goes over the top with number 21, Jason Ford. The touchdown for the Illini on the opening drive of this game. There's the so 400. if you were selecting guys who might score first, you might not pick Jason. The big freshman. Now the swinging gate here. here. Eller. To attempt the extra point. Bosch is his holder. And the Illini have had a great drive. Could have took the crowd out of the game. And here comes Daryl Clark in Penn State. Straight ahead Clark. with Clark. Touchdown. So the Nittany Lions answer the Illinois touchdown. Moving behind Daryl Clark's quarterbacking. And he showed you why a lot of folks around the Big Ten are saying, uh-oh, Joe Pa's got a good one in number 17. Just talked about how we're going to learn a lot more about Daryl Clark facing adversity for the first time. <laughs> and as you said, he answered the challenge. Kevin Kelly. It not only creates tempo for the offense, it gets the defense on their heels. And once you see how they react, it allows you to go back to other plays. Now Maurice Evans is also in the game. Juice is going to go long. Ben reaches for it incomplete. Was working the end zone down there in the corner. Was out of bounds. Well, that was a lot dangerous. closer. Yes, it was I mean, close down there. Let me it, tell you, folks. And he's got a, a huge advantage, <clears throat> excuse me, with his size. Boy, that, uh, that is a close call. The toes were up a little bit. Watch yeah, this, this is now. a great angle here. That's, boy, that. The runner's feet came down inbounds in possession of the ball. As a result, it's a touchdown. Wow. Ted football. Now here comes the swinging gate. Eller. Williams lines up to the left, Royster to the right, first and ten, play fake, Clark with time, he's got a receiver, and Williams touchdown! Program. He helped turn around this entire program, Kirk. When he came, was recruited by Joe Paterno. He brought Justin King, and a lot of big timers have shown up since then. It's Kevin Kelly ties it up. You're running back, you make the catch. He just followed the convoy downfield. Dennis Lando, he is the right tackle. He's a junior from New Jersey. Here's the end around. Williams can walk in. First lead of the night. Derek Williams breakout game. Derek 
And let us not forget Daryl Clark. Was a little bit behind him, and Juice Williams had to cut up underneath and get whatever he could. That's LaShore, the running back, alongside Juice. Looking for the play from the sideline. Press coverage toward the top of your screen. Out of the corner, backs off. Lines with a linebacker blitz on Juice. Stands in, delivers, and it is picked off at the full. This defense was Jay Lehman, and Britt Miller's kind of taking on that role and getting better each, as I said, each rep, you can see him getting more and more comfortable. So this would give them a 10-point lead if Kelly can nail the 25-yarder, and he chips it. That was a big stop. Hold him out of the end zone there. Good job of using your body to get away from Ben and knock the ball away. Matt Eller, and it's going to be right. Wide right. It taught him how to focus, how to study, and he said, I owe everything to Joe and Jay Paterno. Daryl Clark hands off on a little bit of a delay. Look, fumble, and Illinois got it. A huge break for the Illini. Miller again. Remember, he missed his last one. This is a 43-yarder. Curling left, and he's got it. They had last year. Let me just say what an honor it is here to be in the fourth quarter and have a, a game that's seven-point game. We're going to have some fun here. Bounces down to the seven-yard line, and here's Derek Williams, who's had a big night. Explodes the Illini. I've got to catch him if they can. Touchdown. Derek Williams, 94 yards. A breakout night for number two. Miss Kelly. Joe Paterno is so fond of Derek Williams and what he has meant to the program and the entire coaching staff here tonight. Scrimmage and call the plays, but this is still an offense that can work by running and throwing. It's about executing in the red zone, not settling for field goals and trying to get touchdowns because they're moving the ball. The juice looking downfield. He's got a man wide open. It's Ben. Look out now. In a foot race. Touchdown, Illinois. Every game. Yep. Back they came now with Matt Eller, the red shirt freshman. Back to within a touchdown. Get to the, where there's room to the outside and pick up yards. Up first down. Clark looks left, goes in zone. Touchdown, Corliss. Oh, with the run and the pass. Kevin Kelly. Left foot on. By the running back, he didn't come back. The freshman. They had only yep. one penalty tonight. They were sacked only one time. I mean, those are statistics that coaches look at. So important. So important. This team, after what happened this week in college football, without a doubt, they are a serious national title contender and a shot. As you said, when they go to Columbus, it's going to be a lot on the line with that trip between Penn State and Ohio State.